Thanks. Local officials telling residents to take warnings about the storm seriously and to begin preparations now. The last time a tropical storm hit Southern California, nearly 100 people were killed. That was in 1939. Well, tonight officials are urging people sign up for the alerts. Make sure that you're checking for updates. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade has more now from Long Beach where they are getting prepared. Hi, you guys. Yes, as you know, these low coastal areas often become in jeopardy when these powerful storms roll in. And so people around here are pulling out all the stops to prepare for widespread and excessive rains, wind and surf. Coastal residents are heeding weathercasters warnings and preparing for potentially the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in more than 80 years. We don't know what to expect. This hasn't happened since potentially 1939 and they don't know where it'll fall. So it's unnerving. Residents in Seal Beach, Long Beach and in Newport Beach loaded sandbags into their vehicles. Many in these beach communities are familiar with what happens when intense storms roll through and want to protect their properties from any flooding waters. What my main concern is that we might not be totally prepared because we haven't experienced this before. So that's what my concern is. I mean, we're doing the basics, but maybe there's other things that we don't know about. Throughout the day, crews could be seen building up the berms along these seaside communities to protect businesses and homes from being battered by the bad weather. Long Beach has been vulnerable to events like this in the past. We had Hurricane Norbert, Hurricane Marie. We had the local area floodings with the storms in September. These berms have been successful in mitigating and managing the risks and the threats to the homes that are uh, facing our coastline. Hurricane Hillary is moving towards Mexico as a Category 4, but is expected to weaken as it moves into Southern California. It still may bring quite a powerful punch in the shape of drenching downpours, intense winds and dangerous surf. This is what's prompted the National Weather Service to issue a first ever tropical storm watch for Southern California. Typically, the systems either break apart over the mountains of the Baja or they weaken due to cooler waters that's west of Baja. This one might find that area where it can stay just close enough to the coast, bring uh, that moisture uh, and the winds on up into portions of the southwest U.S. If you still need to get sandbags, you can often find them at your local fire department. I know that is the case here in Long Beach. If you're unsure, you can always go to your city's website and check out the locations there. For now, reporting here in Long Beach, Mary Beth McDade will send back to you guys in the studio.